Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the previous videos, we have created our first CA pipelines uh, with the YAML as well as Classic Editor. In this video, I will show you how to add a unit test in our project and how to run unit tests through pipeline. Okay, so it's very easy and straightforward. As you know, uh, we have one application in .NET 6. It's a very straightforward application. I just added it and uh, I did not change anything in the application. It's uh, the default template of the .NET 6 of the uh, .NET 6 application. So uh, let's add a test project and uh, let me navigate to my Wheel Studio 2022. Uh, let me add a project, a unit test project. Click on Add, New Project, uh, Test. I'm selecting the MS test. You can select the N unit test and whatever, which kind of unit test you are using. So I'm just uh, selecting the default MS test. Next, let me name it uh, My App Test. Let me My App Test. Next. I'm selecting a dot next six hit on create so let me rename it test one so this video uh, is not about how to write test uh, this is not the scope of this video uh, I assume that you know about the unit testing so to evaluate unit tests uh, we use a cert so let me true and so that means that this unit test should pass so if I run it it should pass okay it's passed so let me push these changes and uh, I have some garbage I should add in the git ignore I will show you how to add the garbage files that you don't want to uh, upload on your repos uh, in the git ignore file so for now uh, I'm going to push these changes so let me do changes edit unit test project so you know uh, whenever we uh, commit something uh, into the git uh, as your git repository our pipeline will be triggered but if you want that you are going to check in something and you don't want to run your uh, your pipeline then you can add skip ci and if you add this skip ci in this case your uh, uh, ci pipeline will not run okay so let me commit stage and push and let me go to my repository and let me refresh it Is it post? Yeah, let me refresh it again. So it's there. My app test. Okay. So if you see that its project name is my app test.cs proj. Okay. So if I go to my pipelines, you can see that it's not running because we added uh, skip CA. If we did not add it, it, uh, it, it will run if we don't add skip CA so click on it let me add it and now we want to run our unit test in our pipeline so how we can do this uh, click on dotnet core this time we will select the test and hit on add so let me name my task uh, oops name this is build project or build app indentation is wrong and then this name is uh, run a unit test okay and what's the our projects and our projects are it should be you know my app test dot cs approach okay so this is the uh, project name so if you have any multiple projects of the test then you can just uh, add some pattern test dot cs approach uh, 
it's just like that uh, you can say for example static test or whatever but currently we have only one so we are adding that my app test or CS approach and we can also add the configurations as as it is so this is it let me save and add it unit test task and pipeline and it should run it should trigger the pipeline let me click on the pipeline and it's running and click on it <coughs> I should go to the pipeline so the job is started it's assigning the Microsoft hosted agents just be with me it will take minor time because it's running first time so it's initializing the job so the agent is assigned to this pipeline and now our pipeline is about to run so these are our task names build app and the run unit test so it's installing the required uh, NuGet packages and then it will build my our app and then run the unit test so currently we have only one unit test and on our machine it was running fine so we will also see that uh, what if the unit test is not running fine so taking some time so you know I'm using the free version so if you have your own self hosted agent or you're using some you know purchased uh, machine then this is um, for fast for as compared to this okay uh, should not take too much time okay so it's building our app so So build is successful is now it's running our unit test. So it's finding the my app test or CS approach and it says a total of one test files found and passed one. Okay, so we have one unit test and you can see it shows that it's passed so let me fail it so if I say false in this case it should fail run 
so it's failing now now let me add this file so let me push it change in unit unit test let me commit now it should automatically trigger the uh, our pipeline let me go and check the pipeline refresh it refresh it again so it's running now and this time our build pipeline should fail because we have added a failed unit test Okay, it's going to build our app and this time the pipeline should fail because our unit test is failing on our machine. So it's about to run unit test and So it says uh, one unit test failed. Okay, so our pipeline is also failing. If I click on it, and if I click there, this will show uh, the uh, report of the our test. So it says that there is one test and it's failing. So this is all about this video this is how you can add uh, unit test and uh, you can run your unit test through pipeline so that's it for this video if you like it please subscribe and share the videos thanks bye bye